Anything goes. Hello, I have had the most wonderful night. We went to see Back to the Future and oh my goodness, it was phenomenal. It was so, so good. Last night, actually, we also went to see Mousetrap, which was also amazing. I will talk about both probably more in depth another day. Obviously, I don't want to spoil anything, but I do have some things to say. But just for now, know that it's been amazing. So, so good. I have loved having two days off and especially spending both days watching something. It just reignites sort of all passion that I have for the arts. Oh, I just, and seeing Back to the Future, like, oh, I just, I have so much praise for it. And like I said, I will talk more at some other point, but just go see it. It's phenomenal. It's so, so good. I haven't actually filmed much over the last two days because I've been with friends, which has also been very, very nice. Earlier today, we met up with a bunch of people that I lived with two years ago, I think. We went to a place called Dishoom in Covent Garden. And whilst the food was nice, everything was spicy. And as someone who doesn't really tolerate spice, it, you know, it wasn't ideal. And I thought it was a bit overpriced, but it seemed quite popular and people did enjoy it. So, you know, it is what it is. But I actually stayed the night with a couple of friends, so I really didn't get a chance to film much, but that's okay. But like I said, I will talk more when I'm inside. <laughs> Bye for now. Hello. So yesterday I met up with a friend and went to see Mousetrap, which I really don't want to say much about because what I loved first of all about going in and seeing it is that I knew nothing about it. I knew that it was a murder mystery and that was all I knew. So that's kind of all I want to say, except that it was very, very good. You can absolutely see why it's the longest running play. The blocking was brilliant. It was so well done and I just, I thoroughly enjoyed it. That's all I'm gonna say. And then I stayed with a few friends and because Mousetrap started at six, we got home by about nine which was lovely. And so we watched Turning Red, I think it's called, the new Disney movie, and that was very, very good. I thoroughly enjoyed that as well. Disney's really, really doing a good job with movies at the moment. I'm loving the new original movies that have come out in the last year. I just really, really enjoyed it. And then we went to bed quite late. I think we went to bed around one in the morning. And then in the morning, we met up with, like I said earlier, some friends from a few years ago who I haven't seen in about nine months maybe. And it was just so much fun. It was so lovely. We met up at Piccadilly Circus and walked to the Waterstones there. And just browse there for a little bit which I loved except I didn't quite like that I was with all of them because it meant I didn't actually get much chance to browse it was mostly chatting so I'd love to go back to that Waterstones and just 
look around but anyway that was so lovely and then we went to Dishoom like I said earlier and I just had the best time catching up with everybody talking to them all it was just so so lovely and it just felt so normal as well even though we hadn't seen each other in so long it didn't feel awkward or weird or anything and it didn't feel like it had been that long so it was just really really good then we walked around sort of that area Leicester Square, Piccadilly Circus, Charing Cross, that kind of area. Basically just theatre land for a bit and we got McFlurries at McDonald's because of course we did and then we went to see Back to the Future the musical. I cannot stress enough how much I loved this musical. It has to be up there with some of my favourite musicals. We had an understudy on for Marty and another understudy on who I can't remember and both were just brilliant. The guy playing the father, George McFly, was phenomenal and you can just totally see why he was nominated for an Olivier. He was incredible. Now, I don't think I've mentioned it much on this channel before, but I grew up with the Back to the Future films. I would watch them over and over and over again. I loved them so much. So naturally, when I first heard there was going to be a musical back when it was in Manchester, I was desperate to go see it. But I think that was around the time of lockdown and I just didn't get a chance to before, you know, everything shut. And then it just never quite worked out. But I'm, I'm so glad that I have finally been able to go see it. But one of my biggest concerns was, you know, I have such love for the films. What if they ruin it or what what if they do something that just completely detracts from it? Because I love musicals and I tend to really enjoy them, but when it's something I'm so passionate about and I care so much about and I know so well, it could so easily just, you know, be ruined. But let me tell you, it was incredible. The set design was something, I mean, I can't even compare it to anything I've seen before. It was so, so, so good. I was going to stop at two so's, but the third so came because I remembered the ending. Oh, it was just amazing. The lighting was phenomenal. I think they got nominated for Olivier's for both of those as well, which completely deserved. And the music was brilliant. I loved, and this is something that obviously I noticed because I do know the film so well, but not everyone would know, my friend didn't know, but they were using motifs from the movie throughout the musical and throughout the songs that they'd written for the musical and I just so appreciated that and I just loved it. The songs were just so good and they, they made very few changes from the movie but the changes they made made sense and I didn't question them and I thought they were clever. This has been one of the first musicals in a long time where it's got to the interval and I, I wasn't ready for the interval. I was just like, I wish it was going on longer because the fact that it's the interval now means we're halfway through and I don't want to be halfway through. I want to be, you know, only a quarter of the way through or whatever. Like I was genuinely upset when the curtain came down. I just, I, oh, I loved it so much. I really can't remember the last time I saw a new musical and loved it this much. And I'm so grateful that I love it this much. But like the dancing and the songs and the colors and it was, oh, it was just so good. I, I just can't recommend it enough. Go see it, go get your tickets. And we were quite lucky because we got rush tickets and they were very good seats. We were in the stalls in row O, but honestly, I think even I've been in the Adelphi theater a few times now and even sitting at the top, like, it is okay. So even if you need to pay, you know, the cheapest amount for the worst seats, I would still so highly recommend it. Oh, but there were two things I wanted to say. I've already forgotten the first one, but the second one is that basically at one point something happens. And again, I don't want to spoil anything, but when that thing happened, it kind of went silent for a second. And then I, me, the only one, whooped. I did like a woo. And that just broke the audience. And the whole audience then started whooping and clapping and cheering. And it made me really proud that I was I was the one who initiated that. And now I remember the first thing. Basically, Doc says a line towards the start of the second act. And it was a really funny line, so everyone paused to laugh. And I turned to my friend and just whispered another line that I thought would be really funny if they said. But it kind of seemed like the segment was over, so we kind of, you know, we laughed and that was it. But then, once the laughter of the audience died down, Doc said the line that I just whispered, and it was just the funniest reaction that me and my friend both had. We just turned to look at each other with our mouths wide open, jaws completely dropped, and just laughed so loudly. It was great. And actually, I've just remembered a third thing, which is that this show is one of the first musicals I've seen in a while that's had an overture, and I loved it. First of all, we got to the theatre extremely early, about an hour early, 
and I just loved sitting. I love sitting and hearing the orchestra warm up. I just think it's so great. But then especially to hear an overture, like it is just so beautiful and I just I love it so much. I'm so glad that they did decide to do that. Anyway, this is a really long video and I'm really tired. I need to go to bed. So I'm gonna leave it there. The only other thing I will say is what I am wearing today is just a look that I love and I think I will wear a lot. Obviously I'm wearing my book dress, but I'm wearing it with tights and these shoes and I just love the look so much. This dress has been one of the best buys and the shoes as well. I just, I love it. Anyway, that's all for me and I will see you who knows when. Good night. Goodbye.